Hey guys, welcome to another Vertica tutorial. In this story, we're gonna see how we can clone or replicate Vertica schema. This is a daily task that every DBA should know how to do, and you will be required to do it for a different reason. You wanna replicate a dev, you wanna move from dev to prod, you wanna do maintenance, you wanna do anything, you, you need to know how to do this task. So let's see how we can do that. <clears throat> so first we're gonna create our uh, VBR configuration. So for this clone, we're not gonna use a SQL script. We're just gonna back up a schema and we're gonna restore it. So first we're gonna go through the steps of creating a config file for our VBR or our Vertica backup and recovery tool, how they call it. So we're gonna call it schema full. We're gonna give it only a single restore point uh, you want to specify the schema name. In my case, in my case, it's gonna be a random schema called uh, Retail Viz. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, this is very important here. The object restore mode it has to be coexist. And if you look into Vertica documentation, coexist will uh, explain what happens where it is gonna recreate the schema with a different name. Uh, you want to save the password to avoid running at the, uh, the runtime. Um, paste in the password there and now set up the default location for the first node. Be careful because you can't actually back up and edit while you're creating the config setup, while you're running setup config. But at the end, you guys will see that we'll be able to edit this. Uh, configuration file that was generated through setup config option <clears throat> sorry I'm gonna set up the same host as you can see this is uh, a typo that I'm doing right now I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna continue with it and we're gonna edit the file at the end give the name of the password the password give them in the name of the file where you want him to store the password there you go now we're gonna edit the file and uh, make all the required changes all right not that there you go so we're gonna get in here because pretty much this is a text file and you can reuse it and or you can create a template out of it and you don't have to go through through setting uh, setting it up every time all right so first thing after you created the the configuration file you want to initialize the backup area to initialize the backup area use the com use the option t use the command t with the option in it and point to the config file this will look and make sure that the location exists and he's ready to go and he's also creating a, a backup a file called backup manifest which at the beginning it's empty it doesn't have any values in it nor parameters and right now to take a backup use option backup in your vertica vbr script this is gonna go pretty fast because it's a really small schema and that's it our schema was backed up next if you look at it you got you get three you get two folders one is with a snapshot and the other one is with the objects but holds the data is the object folder And now we're gonna restore the backup as a new schema. This will happen by default. We don't have to do it pretty much anything into it because of the because of the restore mode we chose. And remember, I told you at the beginning, this is what makes the difference when you're creating and when you're restoring a new schema. Because what coexist stands for, it's pretty much creates all restore objects with a form, backup, timestamp, object name. So when you restore the data, the, the schema, a new schema will be created with an uh, added prefix to it. The objects that are inside the schema won't have their change, their name changed. So you don't have to worry uh, about it. As long as this, the schema is not going to be the same, you're not going to lose your previous schema. It's not, the previous schema is not going to get overwritten. So the restore syntax 
is as as you can see I'm always going to use the the manual for these examples so you want the tasks to be backup or let's say let's list backups list the backups that are, are englobed into this uh, configuration file so this is going to give me a list of all the backups that have been created and present based on that configuration file so as you can see here that's the name of the schema and now what you want to do you want to use task restore and point to the same uh, backup configuration file this is going to restore a schema as you can see it's already giving you the restore point and the restore schema name that was pretty fast this since the schema was really small there you go let's look now into our database refresh the entire schema tree and as you can see we get a schema full the name of which is the name of the snapshot or the configuration we chose uh, a timestamp attached to it and then the name of the actual schema that we back up we backed up as you can see this is an image of both of them and uh, objects won't be changing name the only thing that changes the name is the schema so the rest pretty much stays the same all we need to do right now is alter the schema name which is a pretty trivial task you can do it from the from this um, user interface or you can do it manually or whatever you choose to do so that's it back back up and restore a single schema in vertica and uh, i can say it's pretty straightforward you're not going to go through all the trouble that you go through when you do that in other databases i hope you guys enjoyed it like subscribe to my channel or give me some comments